welcome back to black tea it's your girl ebony and you guys already know that i am here with the white with the mess now there are several topics they don't want to talk about in this video and the first topic is none other than megan the stallion's ex bff kelsey nicole snapping on twitter talk about a mess now it all started when kelsey nicole did take to her instagram to decide to do a freestyle now this rap freestyle was very interesting and it kind of made people cringe check it out it's a little challenge real quick listen Time calls and I'm a boss, so you gotta pay me if you're trying to waste mine. Take it in the image, red a snake, kiss and put them on snake. So as you guys saw in the video, she was kind of out of breath, and I don't think the freestyle was good, but I give her an E for effort. Besides that point, several people jumped into the comments to voice their opinions about Kelsey Nicole's freestyle, and there were mixed emotions. One person saying that LMAO, man, what? I'll be back for these comments. Meg, give her a verse. And finally, pack it up. It's the hair not blending for me what you all mean the hair the lace look fine to me chill y'all petty now besides the regular fans jumping into the comments one of megan the stallion's chihuahuas who goes by jay lee also decided to provide her opinion saying this i'm embarrassed for her yikes now kelsey nicole did not waste any time snapping back at jay lee saying this shut your ba up before i get to talking about you b word you stay worried about me i'm mind of mine ain't E. Don't be embarrassed by nothing I got going on. I'm good over here. Chill. Kelsey had time today. Chill. Now, Jaylee did respond and she says, No one is going to beat me up. But let's be very clear this is a long time coming. Both Megan the Stallion and her posse has been harassing Kelsey Nicole for a very long time. You guys remember just a couple months ago, Megan the Stallion and her friends were trying to post a series of videos not only to troll Kelsey, but to also say that they didn't care about anything that she had to say. They also tried to allude to the fact that Kelsey Nicole was a bad friend, subsequently the public finding out that it was actually Megan who wasn't a good friend, allegedly. Now look, besides the diss track and everything going on with the case, I do anticipate that Kelsey is going to start speaking up for herself. There's only so much somebody can take, but this snapback was very, very cute and very, very pleasant, and it did seem to shut Jaylee up. Now the next topic I want to talk about is none other than Iggy Azalea coming to Twitter to rant about the Grammys and also say that YouTube is blackballing her. She started with this. The Grammys are rigged AF and y'all know that now and collectively agree. But forget the whole biz is ran by the same MFs planning that event. So why don't you believe the whole industry is the same way? This y'all logic. A person says Iggy F y'all. I'ma say what I want cause y'all not gonna be hating regardless. I know that's right. Iggy responds and she says y'all said I made up Spotify. Curated list being Paola Field and last Last month, Rolling Stone dropped the receipts. Facts only over here always. Now, another person says, why don't people like it when an artist reveals the truth about the music industry? Iggy says, because sometimes fans feel it's attacking their favorite artists who may not be signed to a major label. It's not. We love all artists. We just want a playing field that's fair for the indies and the up to streaming platforms to honor that and not be sellouts. She says, I'm going to say it and get dragged, but I bet two to three years from now when some writer doesn't an article exposing all of it y'all gonna be like Iggy was right as always I'll take the hate I have for years y'all not gonna see me leave that's for sure ha she goes on to say this can't bully me out of ish baby I'm sorry a fan says they forget that you've been in the game for 10 years your skin been thick she says can't say a thing I haven't heard over a hundred times I'm gonna say what's real stop defending a system that's designed to monopolize ish in a favor of giant corporations so they can have your future fave in a ishy contract. Now another fan says this, every white rapper that went mainstream won a Grammy except you. You are the problem. She said the true problem is BTS streaming platforms are strong armed by majors playing for ish and that leaves no room for organic growth of indie record outside of TikTok. This forces artists into feeling they can only win signing major record deals and they don't allow real ownership. Now a fan goes on to say this, sucks because indie artists deserve the same respect. Iggy said, I have no beef with being signed to a major label. My beef is playing the field because it's so rigged, because of streaming that it feels like there's no choice but to sign over your rights in order to win, and that's F up. Now, she did retweet this. Iggy isn't lying, and if you're mad, you need to rethink things. I'm proud of her for speaking out. Now, she goes on to say, I'm gonna tweet about throwing my butt and pizza for the rest of the week, but B, I said what I said. They said, Iggy, you can breathe, and the haters will still find a 
way to switch your words around. She says, and the level of dedication is why I'm still here. Hate and love the same on a bank account statement. Period, pool. Brave to speak out. I wish more would, especially those signed in. Just makes me want to support more in artists. Iggy said, but it's also all good. They don't because there's a lot of them to risk in doing so. And I get it, but let's not act like I'm crazy. So this is very interesting to me because I feel like when Iggy was actually winning, when she was getting those number ones, before all of her controversy with the music industry, she really wasn't complaining. And I think now that she's independent and a lot of her reputation has superseded her career, now she wants to come out and talk about it. Do I believe her? Absolutely. But at the same token, I do question the timing. Now several people jumped to the comments to voice their opinions about Iggy being blackballed and let's just say there's mixed emotions. One person saying this. Iggy wasn't saying this when she was popping. She's only saying this because they're not checking for her. When Nikki was popping, she was speaking about stuff like this because she meant it, not because she wasn't selling. And finally, Nikki Ben said this and a white girl saying it, now people want to believe Iggy but calling Nick bitter? And I agree. I think that Iggy is at a point right now where again, her reputation has outsold her career and unfortunately, that is prohibiting her from growing as a brand. So let me know what you guys think about these topics down below. How do you feel about Kelsey Nicole snapping back at Jay Lee for that whole shade she threw at her freestyle? What are your thoughts on Kelsey Nicole's freestyle? And give me some of your thoughts on Iggy Azalea being blackballed, so not only on YouTube, but also the Grammy. I look forward to reading your comments. Don't forget to subscribe, ping that bell notification so you never miss when I upload. And give this video a huge thumbs up so I can be exposed to more great subscribers like you. I love you guys. To the moon and back. And don't forget, let's stream super big. Bye, babes.